Hey everyone, look, it's the sun! No, 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 wait, don't look directly at it. Get self-conscious. But anyways, look, yeah, it's the sun! Yeah! The sun is awesome! I mean, just look at it, despite what I just said. Are you looking? Okay, good. Great. Great. But I don't think you're looking hard enough. Why don't we, why don't we take a closer look? Oh god! Yeah, just look at all those layers. Amazing. Like, look at this center guy right here in, in, the, in the center. It's called the core. Now, he may look solid, but he's actually a gas. It's also about 27 million degrees. Next up is the solar envelope, which puts pressure on the core and maintains its temperature. Outside the solar envelope is the photosphere, which is a thin layer of low-pressure gases. It also emits the sunlight we see. Outside of the photosphere is the chromosphere, which is the outmost layer of the sun itself. It's <clears throat> red because it has an abundance of hydrogen, which can sometimes be observed during an eclipse. And finally, there's the corona, which is only visible during an eclipse. Unfortunately, one isn't happening right now, so I can't really show you guys. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, wow, look at that. It's an eclipse. Oh, this is incredibly unlikely. Just, just wow, oh man. Okay, there you go, see it? That's the corona. It is a low-density cloud of plasma that surrounds the sun. Okay, bye. Now, let's move on to the sun's phases. The sun, like any other star, has multiple. Currently, the sun is about halfway through the most stable phase of its life, the main sequence. During the sun's main sequence, nuclear fusion reactions within the sun's core will fuse hydrogen into helium. But this hydrogen fusion will eventually stop, and the sun will undergo some serious changes. What? Could you, could you not interrupt, please? It's very rude. That's right! While the sun will stay in its stable main sequence for about 5 million more years, it will eventually exit the main sequence and turn into a red giant. No, no, not like that. Yeah, there you go, that's better. So, it's been calculated that the sun will grow big enough to envelop the solar system's innermost planets, and maybe even Earth. But don't worry, before it even turns into a red giant, the sun's luminosity will have almost doubled and the Earth will be even hotter than Venus is currently, so everyone on Earth will die way before the ever-growing sun envelops the entire planet. After the sun's red giant phase, it'll only have about 120 million years left, which is short compared to its total lifespan. But during these short, fleeting 120 million years, the sun goes through a lot of changes. First, the sun's core ignites into a helium flash. This causes it to shrink down to about 10 times its normal size today. This is when the sun reaches its ugh, red clump phase. Then, the sun will become slightly bigger and more luminous for about 100 million years, continuing to burn helium in its core. But, once all the helium is burned up, the sun will repeat this growing and shrinking process, only much faster this time. Uh, ooh, oh, you okay, buddy? Ugh. Moving on. This is known as the asymptotic giant branch phase, and the sun is burning hydrogen in a shell instead of helium. After about 20 million years of this, oh my god. Gotta get him some Tums. Maybe an antacid. After about 20 million years of this, the sun will experience rapid mass loss and thermal pulses for a few hundred years every hundred thousand years or so. The thermal pulses will become larger every time. After about four pulses, the sun will only have about half of its current mass. Oh, oh man, you, you, you've, you've, you've looked better, sun. You've been in better shape. Then, it has an even faster phase or evolution. Firstly, the ejected half of the sun's mass will become ionized into a planetary nebula. The exposed core's temperature will rise and eventually cool, forming a white dwarf. The planetary nebula will disperse in about 10,000 years, but the white dwarf will survive for trillions of years before eventually fading to black. Let's just, let's just skip ahead a bit. There we go. Fading to black. Ooh. There it goes. Okay. That's, uh, that's all I've got.